So Jan, this is day two of your hunger strike. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm happy to be in solidarity with what's happening in Gaza right now. I am a nurse practitioner from New York, and I feel like this is the least that I can do to show solidarity for uh, the children of Gaza, the healthcare workers of Gaza, seeing the conditions of medical facilities over there. It's an abomination, and we all need to do more. We all need to step up more for Gaza. So being right in front of the White House here, and knowing that this is the White House that has been ironclad support for Israel, sending 2,000 pound bombs into crowded neighborhoods, how does that make you feel? I am very angry about the situation. The American people overwhelmingly do not consent to this genocide. We don't want our tax dollars going to exterminate a, an indigenous population. And we want our tax dollars to fund uh, social services here. We, we don't have education. We don't have we don't have health care. We have a failing, a crumbling public infrastructure. We have so many people living on the streets, and there's so much need of the American people that we can do with that money here. And as a nurse, knowing that people are being starved in Gaza, that Israel is keeping humanitarian aid from coming in, how does that make you feel? There is absolutely no excuse for any of this. This is a man-made famine. There are miles and miles of aid trucks that are lined up at the borders and the food is literally rotting at the border and they cannot hide from their decisions and from their their actions we see everything happening in front of us and it is pushing us to do even more for gaza well thank you jen for the sacrifice and for being here where there are so many tourists from all over the world and you get a chance to interact with thousands of people and try to get them active to support your efforts our efforts to stop the genocide